beauties, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I heard you all on Facebook. You guys knew I picked up the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow, and a lot of you guys were looking for some fun looks for Valentine's Day. And I mentioned that I had Pomegranate Punk, and some of you guys mentioned do a smoky eye using the Pomegranate Punk. So I listened, and in this tutorial, let me zoom in. We are gonna be creating this beautiful smoky eye using Pomegranate Punk, along with a palette from Wet n Wild. So, if you would like to learn step by step on how I created this fun smoky look for Valentine's Day, you stay tuned and just keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is prime your eyelid and I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next, we'll be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in Pomegranate Punk. Using my fingertip, I'm just gonna warm up the product and dab it on my eyelid area. Using a small dome-shaped brush, I'm gonna grab a bit more of that cream shadow and apply it to the inner corner of the eye and blend upward. Continuing to grab more, I'm gonna take a little bit more pomegranate punk and build up the intensity on the center portion of my eyelid. Now we're gonna be using the Wet n Wild Lust Palette and we're gonna be using this purple here in the crease. Using a fluffy dome-shaped brush, I'm gonna take a bit of this purple color in the middle and tap some of that color onto the brush. And we're gonna apply it on the bridge area of the eye, starting in the outer corner, and then blending up in a windshield washer motion to get that color fade to the brow bone. Continue to blend in a circular motion till that color begins to fade away right up to the brow bone area, the eye area. Using the Lust palette again, Grab a pencil brush. We're gonna take the darkest purple in this palette that is matte. And we're gonna apply that to the outer V of the eye. Basically using this color to help sculpt and mold that inner crease to give it more of a smoldering, smoky look. If you want to increase the smokiness, go ahead and apply another layer of this color to the inner V of the eye. And then once you have the color applied, go ahead and take that fluffy dome shaped brush and blend away. Using the same fluffy dome shaped brush cleaned off, we're gonna take the lightest color in this palette, it's kind of a vanilla highlight, and we're gonna apply a little bit to the brow bone by using a padding motion. And we're gonna blend it on the outer portion of the brow area just to soften up any rough edges from this shadow look and we're gonna blend in very soft, delicate circle motions to clean up the look. Now we're gonna take Pomegranate Punk with an angled liner brush, and we're gonna work this along the lower lash line like a liner. Start from the inner corner of the eye and blend, and we're gonna move our way all the way around the lower lash line. Next, go back to the Lust palette with the same angled brush, and we're gonna take a little bit of this lighter purple, and we're gonna line the outer corner of the eye really close to where those lashes come out and don't forget to blend in the outer corner. And we're gonna move our way all the way to about three quarters in. And then to darken it up a little bit more, we're gonna take the darker shade with the same angle brush and we're gonna darken it up really close to where those lashes grow out. Now we're gonna take an eyeliner by Sephora Collection, and this is their flashy black, a part of their waterproof collection, and it's kind of like a metallic black with a little gray hints to it. We're gonna line the waterline with this here. One of the last steps, we're gonna to begin to line our upper lash line using the Sephora waterproof gel liner called Must Have. And I'm gonna be using a liner brush. It's more of a script brush. Grab a bit of the liner, and we're gonna line the upper lash line. Once you have the upper lash line complete, you can go ahead and add your favorite mascara. I'm gonna add lashes, and this time I'm gonna be using another favorite of mine from madamadeline.com, and we're gonna be using the 415. Once I get that on, I'll come back and show you what I did to the rest of my face. All 
All right, so welcome back. Um, to finish off this look, I kept it very simple and easy for my blush. This is the only thing that is not drugstore, but I decided to break out because this is the only pink blush I have. So with that said, if you do not own NARS Angelica, you can find a basic pink just like this with um, any brand that you love to use. So I basically use that to apply just a light dust to the um, apples of my cheek just to give it a hint of pink so you don't want to heavily apply it on. And then for my lips, I decided to use again my favorite NYX liner in Pinky. And for the lipstick, I decided to break out my NYX lip color. It's the Lip Smacking Fun Colors. I'm not too sure if they carry this anymore, but um, this color is called Flower. This is what the color looks like. And I just put a little bit just toward the center of my lips, and that's pretty much the entire look. So if you'd like to have a step-by-step -step or a list of products that I did use in this tutorial, in this tutorial can't talk, um, as always, click in the information box below and there uh, will lead you to my blog post regarding this fun uh, smoky Valentine's Day look. And there you'll find everything you need to create this look. And I also encourage you to be creative, use colors you have at home and um, in order to create this look. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. And until the next video, y'all have a great day. Bye.